Hello everybody, uh, if you don't already know, my name is Brandon Bennett. I'm the uh, director and star of Diary of a Junkie. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a series of these video blogs to kind of give everybody an update uh, and a behind the scenes look at the film. Uh, what's going through my mind, what's going on in, in production, pre-production, and that sort of thing. Uh, really, right now, it's, it's at a very slow pace, uh, seeing as this is my first film. I really don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing per se. Uh, the feedback so far has been really good. Um, so I'm very thankful for that and uh, thankful for everyone who's shown interest in this project. Um, but I want to go ahead and, and answer one of the main questions that uh, that uh, seems to be plaguing people's mind is where I came up with the idea for this film. Um, I, I got to thinking about the state of affairs of the world and how people perceive uh, junkies, drug addicts, that uh, basically they kind of see them as the scum of the earth low lives, um, that they have no place in society, they're just kind of worthless. And uh, I don't necessarily see it that way, I don't condone their lifestyle, but uh, I see it as that we all make mistakes and we all have to live with the choices that we make, um, it, and it could be any number of things. We've all done things that we aren't proud of in our lives, uh, I can vouch for that. Um, but. I also believe that they, they do have a voice and that maybe they just need a set of listening ears. And uh, that's why I did this in, in a documentary sense, uh, is so that uh, people get to see a side of, of a junkie that they don't normally get to see. Um, in this movie you'll see Steven, the main character, go through every emotion in the world. He, from one minute him will be laughing, the next he will just be outraged, the next minute you may see him breaking down crying. Uh, all within a very short time span because when a person's on drugs that's how life is it's just an er emotional roller coaster um, you'll also get to meet the people that he interacts with uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them friends but acquaintances uh, people that he he deals drugs with that he buys from people that he takes them with and the way he reacts to these people uh, you learn he's a very quiet person most of the time, but just like anyone else, uh, the, any numerous things can affect him. Uh, just like alcohol can make you crazy and, and bring out your inhibitions, uh, drugs can do <laughs> so many more things, and you'll see that in this film. Uh, I'm going to try to make it as, as true to life, which is why I'm doing documentary style, um, because I want you to see those emotions and, and to see through the eyes of this character that he does have a voice. Uh, you'll learn that he's very, very obsessed with music as well. Uh, you'll learn that when he was younger he wanted to be a musician, wanted to be a rock star. And uh, maybe that's why he does drugs. Maybe to to make up for that lack, that something he's missing. Or maybe it's just, you know, the whole rock and roll, uh, sex, drugs, and rock, rock and roll, you know, lifestyle. Um, maybe he's just got that mentality that, uh, that he still has, he's starting to live that dream out. Uh, we'll find that out more in the end of the film. Um, I, I hope to do a whole series of these. Uh, if you have questions, send them to me. Um, anything you want to know, I will try to address them in these blogs. Uh, I, I do want to go ahead and say thank you to several different people. Um, Rick Briscoe, uh, Mike Adams, uh, my friend Rod, uh, who's a band, Midget Cadaver, uh, who's working on some music, uh, several other people who have showed interest. Uh, I am still looking for people to work on the soundtrack. Uh, I'm trying to do it in a, in a very strange way that uh, most movies have, you know, a soundtrack they put out an album. Um, and then other movies will put out a score. I'm kind of looking to do both, like maybe each artist do do a song and an instrumental piece. Um, I want to do all in, independent artists to kind of get their name out the same way that I'm trying to get myself out there. Uh, it's it's very hard as a musician, as an actor, as a director, as a filmmaker, I'll, anything, anything that you're doing, um, and uh, I want to give them the, that chance to uh, to kind of shine and to see to let everyone see what they can do. Uh, uh, I try to keep my foot in 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 the independent world, and uh, I hope that I can give them something uh, and that they can bring something with me. So. Uh, Keep on checking the MySpace page. Uh, I hope to have some new updates soon. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, 
Leave comments. Let me know what you think. If you hate it, if you love it, whatever. If it moves you, if it touches you, it makes you laugh. I don't care. Just anything. Uh, leave me, leave me a little comment or something. But uh, I just want to go ahead and say thank you.